I swear, this happens every single weekend. Why is grinding gold just like such a pain sometimes? Another Wednesday, another hero, mythic hero this time. What is up guys, it is Clumble and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Today's video guys, we're going to be taking a look at the new mythic hero, Lynx Cassandra. So it's going to cost you 3,200 seasonal gold. I honestly did not think that I was going to be able to get enough seasonal gold for this. I thought she was going to be like a fleet foot type. But I guess she is going to be a skirmisher ninja. So we're going to buy her 3,200 seasonal gold. Oh, thank goodness. We're actually going to screenshot that. Did I get that in? I think I got that in. But then we're going to go take a look at her and her stats. All right. So here is Lynx Cassandra um, as in Battle Royale as well in the Battle Pass. So I'm guessing once we level her up or evolve her, then she's going to change. So she's going to be a skirmisher ninja, mantis leap. Um, Shinobi, Fleet, increases movement speed by 12%, she's gonna have the Dragon Slash. Um, Soft Landing, reduces fall damage by 40%, she's gonna have the Throwing Stars. Assassination, um, dealing sword damage grants one stack of Assassination, increasing the damage dealt by swords by 5%. You have the Long Assassin, increases the duration of the Assassination by 6 seconds. The 3 Mantis Style, it's gonna reduce energy cost. You have the Smoke Bomb. You have the Wind and Storm. Stacks of Assassination provide 3% movement speed in addition to bonus damage. She has Tail of the Dragon, which is a Dragon Slash, which is, in my opinion, the best part about this hero. The Tail of the Dragon is pretty cool. And Deadly Mid-Range Fighter, who combines Throwing Stars and Dragon Slash to create a Storm of Steel. Okay, so what we're going to do now, guys, is try to level her up to power level at least 82, maybe 116. I'm not quite sure how many pure drops of rain I have, but um, yeah, also we're going to take a look at the new sword. I'll make a video on that as well, but I just want to show you guys the new mission, everything like that. So here we go, we're going to evolve her. There we go. Evolve. How many pure drops of rain do we have? Okay, so we're going to, yeah, I might be able to do that. All right, yep, so it's going to be just like Battle Royale. Let's keep on leveling her up. High level 44, but I am really hyped for this. And again, guys, she is subject to change. So right now she's a skirmisher. But she will be her own special type of hero once the hero rework system does, does come into play. I'm not quite sure when that's going to like drop, but it should be in about a month or two, I'm guessing. So I cannot wait for that. So I would probably recommend just picking her up as well as like the ice cream from like the last week in the challenges. Uh, make sure to do those because these heroes are subject to change and she will be like her own unique like perks, everything like that. So we'll evolve her again. Probably can do it one more time. There she is. Actually, let's take a look at the view. This is looks looks really cool because it changes color. Let's zoom out. I like how it like changes the color and everything like that. I think I almost have enough XP for this in Battle Royale. There we go. So we'll keep on leveling her up. Um, we're gonna try to do one more time. I think I can have enough pure drops of rain. If not, I can go buy some or um down tier. Another hero that I have. Let's see here. Level up. Power level 82, evolution. Alright, so I just need to love them more. I'll go get some more and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is going to be the next evolution. She's going to be like the blue. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. As you guys can see, like it's kind of moving. Like her skin's kind of moving and the arms and the legs a little bit. So without further ado, let's go try to get some gameplay. But real quickly guys, I just want to go over the new week 4 warrior challenge. It's going to be the Copper Guardian's Will. You have to survive for 30 minutes in the week 4 Frost Knight challenge, any threat. So if we go on over to the map, we'll go to Frost Knight. And let's take a look at the new challenge. It's going to be the Cold Chaos. Um, survive the Cold Chaos. Defend the Burner, Scavenge, and Supply Drops. Um, basically, I think the Cold Chaos is like where it has like some type of elemental effect, something like that. Where they keep adding on, stacking on, or it has something like that. But yeah, really curious to know what this is. And I'm probably going to try to show you guys some gameplay, if not even live stream this. Okay, so we are in a match now, guys. And the reason why I thought I would not have enough seasonal gold was because my basement, like, started to flood a little bit. And I was like, oh no. So I had to, like, double task while I played Save the World to make sure that the dedication on this, guys. Um, clean the basement and as well as doing that to play save the world I went into like a private match to play save the world as well because I needed the seasonal gold I need like 2,000 seasonal gold so I played for like five hours a day just so I could get enough and then I came up too short as well but uh, just want to show you guys her basic abilities everything like that for the skirmisher ninja now I usually don't use a ninja class too often so I'm not too um, knowledgeable in that class 
but I thought she was going to be a fleet foot. Um, like that was like the first type of hero that I actually used in the game, but she's not skirmisher. But she will be subject to change in like a month or two once the new hero rework comes out. So right here we have the dragon slash. It's also going to be like the tail of the dragon. This is what's really cool is that when Hus run into there, it's like energy, so they will die from that or take damage. We have the good old throwing stars right there. And then we have the smoke bomb in which you can, you know, go away, confuse the zombies, everything like that. With this as well, you also have the double jump or the mantis sleep and something you can do to go try to fight these uh, husks down here. Let's see if you can snipe one right there. But something that you can do is you can use like the mantis sleep and the smoke bomb. You need to use some combinations. So you can go like mantis sleep, smoke bomb. And the smoke bomb is also going to do damage as well to the husks. So I'm just going to use, show you guys a little bit of gameplay, let's use the Dragon Slash one to show you guys like, when they run into it. As you guys can see, they are going to be taking damage, so that's what I really do like about um, the Skirmisher class, as well as the Fleet Foot. I think that class has that as well, the Tail of the Dragon, is that is a really good um, ability to have on a hero. So I just want to show you guys one or two more minutes of gameplay, and make sure to comment down below if you guys are going to buy this um, skin, buy this hero. I would recommend it for now maybe not I probably won't be using this hero that often um, until the hero rework comes this hero with like the uh, the new um, sort of like the infinity blade or it's like the will something that's coming out it is also really really cool I feel like those two will go like intertwine at some point I feel like she'll have some type of uh, long jump ability special type ability once the hero rework system comes out so really curious to see how that is Use a smoke bomb here. So it's gonna throw like a right beneath you. Dragon slash, and then we have. Oh no, wait, we don't we don't have enough energy yet. There we go. The throwing stars. The throwing stars are actually not too bad, except I don't know. They're not. I mean, they're not too bad, nor are they are they too good. They're just kind of average. Something nice to have as another ability. But yeah, make sure again to comment down below if you guys are gonna buy the skin. And hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. If you guys like to see any other gameplay and any other heroes, just make sure to comment them down below. If you'd like to see any other guides, anything like that. I can try my best to do that for you guys. Really just want to help you guys out. And yeah. Now something that I would like to quickly add on is the ability of 40% less fall damage. Now I usually don't take fall damage in this game that much and does it not really a big deal to me, but this is kinda of like how it relates to like a Lynx or like a cat, you know, less fall damage. At least in the description of it from the store and everything like that and when you guys go to the news tab it says that you know you play from like the high ground kind of thing go from above you know you can take less fall damage where you jump down on enemies you have the smoke bomb everything like that so this you know this character is a little bit more used for um, high ground advantage a little bit and stuff like that so I just want to throw that out there to you guys so if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, then make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I really do appreciate it, guys. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers. We just hit um, 6,000. Let's try to hit 6.1K here, at least in the next day or two. That would be honestly amazing, guys. really do um, thank all of you guys for all the support. And yeah, I'll be working on the new sword as well. I might even live stream some gameplay of the new week. Uh, I think it's like the week 5 Warrior Challenge already. Um, this uh, season will be at an end pretty soon, probably like another month or so, so I uh, can't wait to see what the new season is. I do like this season though right now, and yeah guys, it's Cumble, and I will see you guys in the next one.